Hey guys, this is John the Anti-Marketer, just doing some technical how-to training with you today. Uh, and we're just going to connect our lead pages with our active campaign. And, and you might have seen the video where I talk about how imp integration uh, can help you implement things quicker. Uh, once you have this connected with your active campaign, uh, you can then just create multiple lists, multiple forms, multiple sign-up pages uh, really quickly. So. Um, Let's just, uh, I'm just working on a new freebie that I'm creating myself called the Lead Pages Implementation Guide. So you'll probably see that uh, arise on my um, site in the next day or so. But um, well, I'm also going to be doing future training on tracking and, and just how you use the drag and drop builder in, in Lead Pages. But uh, basically, when we're talking about integration or so, integration to your list, um, you, you need to click on the actual button click on the link and there you go you've got a lead box that you can view or edit if I click on that I've already integrated my active campaign but I'll show you how, how to do it again uh, and bear in mind there's many ways uh, to integrate lead pages it can be through the API what that means is you get the two programs talking together and I'll show you that today um, but there is other methods and, and look, if you, if you want more information on that, if you've got a specific integration, uh, shoot me a message and I'll shoot you a free video uh, on how to do it. But anyways, coming to here, you notice I click on the sign up box here. Uh, when I click on it, um, automatically it brings up my details and you can see here I've got my active account, uh, active campaign account set up. Um, now when it's integrated, when it's talking, um, I can just go and select any of the forms uh, that I've created in my active campaign. So coming over uh, to my active campaign account here, um, you can see uh, my forms here, AM is anti-marketer because uh, I've got some other websites and stuff that I, I, I deal with. Um, but um, I created my form and then I create the subsequent the list and the automation behind it, but here it is, Anti-Marketer Lead Pages Implementation Guide. And you can see here, I can just choose that and boom, that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, I then go and, and fill in the rest of it, of course. There's fields, I have an extra field for tracking stuff uh, and I'll go and put my th uh, thank you page in. But the thing is, how do you get it like this? How do you get it to the point where I can create my form come into lead pages and select whatever form I want. Well, the, the trick is here, when you go to add an integration, so if we click on there, um, click on more services, um, and you'll see all of the different services there, Infusionsoft, all of them. So I've already set up Active Campaign, but if I went to set up Active Campaign afresh, okay, here it is here, let's click on that fellow. Not hide from this, let's go in there. There we go. So if I click on Active Campaign, you'll see there's some settings here. And you'll notice this is, this is the way everything's talking to each other now through API keys and API URLs. So I literally get this information from my Active Campaign account. So you can see here, um, it'll tell me here, where do I find my API key and API URL? It says in Active Campaign, go to My Settings, click on Developer under the API Access section. So, um, uh, where am I here? Under my settings. Okay, under developer. Uh, and there we go. There's the API access and, and the key. Um, I'll have to be mindful to, to block those out so you can't access my key. <laughs> but um, there we go, I can hit reconnect, but it's already connected, so I don't need to. Once you do that, you'll have the feature that I just showed you where it'll be talking straight to your active campaign um, and all of those integrations work the same with Infusionsoft. We can select a, a form. Um, I can even select a list with active campaign, which is really cool. Um, and that's it. When I hit done, um, and if I go through the process there, uh, if I hit next fields, I'll just leave the, the standard in, uh, default lead pages, but I'll come back and put my own uh, page on there. That's it. If I wanted to go and test it now, um, 
I'll just simply publish it, go and get my link, go and test it, and of course, please don't use the ugly link. Uh, use it for testing, of course. Um, go see another video of mine where I show you how to use, get the link on your actual domain. There's my page. I can go and sign up, and it's connected to my uh, active campaign. So hopefully uh, you, you found that helpful. Um, and you can see how if you spend some time, it might look a bit technical, but it really isn't. Um, just go through that process. Once it's integrated, you can just create these pages easily and quickly. And so if you enjoy, make sure you, you subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and spread the news. Thanks very much. Thank you.